More and more, you'll want to display your photos online rather than in print. Expression Media makes it easy to publish your photos online in a variety of formats. Let's start with a new take on the venerable tradition of giving slideshows. All of us have been to slideshows before, and all of us have seen stacks and stacks of carousels. The nice thing about Expression Media is it makes it much easier to keep your pictures sorted and produce slideshows than it ever was having to shuffle individual slides between trays. So now that I've got my portfolio set up, I'm going to go ahead and build a slideshow. But first, I want to arrange the order a little bit. I don't think I want to lead off with this image, even though maybe it's the first of the bunch. So I can just click on it and drag it down to another location. I think this one might be a good one to start off on. So I'll scroll it up. And as you can see, the gray triangle, excuse me, the gray square, gray rectangle, around the thumbnail shows me where that picture will be, where it will be inserted in the order of things. So I'm going to put that one first. And let's put um, that one can go second, third, fourth, fifth. And I think that looks good. So let's let's try it. If I come up under the Make menu, and I can choose Run Slideshow. It's going to give me the default slideshow options. It'll go to full screen, and I have my controller here. Now, I want a little bit more control over this. And I want to be able to control the flow and the pacing of the slideshow. So I'll come back, and I'm going to click again on the first image, because by default, Expression Media will start the slideshow based on whatever photo you have selected. And come back to the Make menu and select Slideshow Options. So I can set my duration here. I'll, I'll say 5 seconds per slide. can choose the background color, any of these, but I'm going to go with, with black. And Transition, I have the option. These are a number of common transitions that you've all seen in presentations before. And what I really like to use is um, the crossfade. You may have a different favorite. Experiment with them and just see what you like. You can also uh, go in and choose random and get an experience of what each of the different transitions will look like when you use it in your photos. I'll go ahead and choose random for now. I have the option of doing full screen or half. M nine times out of ten, you're going to want to choose full screen here. Now for the playback, I have the option to do interactive, where it will wait for me to click for to advance to the next slide. This is nice if you are just going through and you're wanting to speak over your presentation as opposed to just having, having the let it, letting the photos run on their own. Continuous will loop the slideshow, and random will put the photos in a random order. We also have the options of playing voice annotations, which is nice if you're doing an interview and you have a voice clip to go with the photo. I don't have any voice annotations in these, so I'll leave that off. And you notice the controller on the left there. I kind of find it distracting when I'm giving a slideshow, so I'm going to leave that off as well. Now I have the option to click OK. I can also run the slideshow from here. So I'll go ahead and run the slideshow here. And you can see my new options. That was kind of a radial dissolve in. Then the next one is the crossfade. So you can see the different transitions that you can have between photos. Pressing the escape key jumps out of the slideshow. And one of the things that's really nice is if you can't give a slideshow in person, maybe you can't get everyone together that you want to see your photos, you can always export your slideshow as a movie. So I'm going to go up to the Make menu again. I'm going to save the slideshow as a movie. And here on the right, there are a number of different presentation options in different sizes. The 640 by 480 is a nice size because it's small enough to be emailed, yet it's large enough to really see the quality of the photos. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. And I don't need to include any chapter tracks or anything fancy. I'll go ahead and use the controller and auto start. And I'll go ahead and launch the player when it's done so you can see what the finished movie looks like. And press make. Come over here and I'll call this portfolio. Movie. And select save. And this will save it in the QuickTime movie format. If you don't already have the QuickTime Movie Format installed, it can be downloaded for free. Many computers nowadays have that installed, and it's a common cross-platform file format. Now that the movie has been created and published, I can go ahead and play it and preview what my finished movie is going to look like. As you can see, it's going to keep the same transitions and the same duration between slides. 
and it also keeps the same order. And this is just a really nice way to share your photos with others. You can post this movie onto your website. You can also email it or burn it to a CD or DVD. If you're a young photographer or anyone wanting to create a really nice promotional piece to get themselves started as a professional, you can always add a text title slide with your name and your contact information or your business name and at the very end include your contact information and phone number and email and a way that they can reach you. So that's a new take on the slideshow theme.